Hello guys, welcome back to Unbound Being. And today I wanted to speak about God's palace. But before I go and speak about God's palace, I wanted to make one note. Uh, I've put a new YouTube channel up of Unbound Being. So I'm separating Roald Bohm's YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, from the Unbound Being videos that I post. So if you like to follow these true talks about non-duality and spirituality and life and the nature of consciousness, then please make sure to go to the link below and subscribe to my other channel, Unbound Being, because otherwise you won't be getting the post. Also, if you go to Unbound Being website, the website will be below as well, you can subscribe to my newsletter, and through the newsletter you'll be sure to receive the latest posts whenever I put anything on there. So that's the best way really to, to make sure of that. So, God's Palace. You know, God's Palace is now. The truth is, life is now. This is God. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the word God, and I didn't like the word God before either, because too many people are out there talking about God and have wacky little concepts about a man with a beard or something like that. Which, but to me, God is now. It's eternity. It's life. It's the universe. It's everything there is, right? So God's mind or God's palace. So what's God's palace? Well, it's now. To be here and now is God's palace. And guess who lives in God's palace? Not only you live in God's palace, if you do, when your attention resides here in the present, now, but in God's palace, joy lives. Presence lives. Well-being lives there. Bliss lives there. Grace lives there. These are all the angels that are your tenants, that are your housemates when you live in God's palace. You see, God's palace is filled with angels. However, most people don't live in God's palace. They live with Lucifer, and Lucifer lives outside the palace. You see, Lucifer was one of God's fallen angels. And as a fallen angel, he left the palace. He once used to live in the palace. He once used to be part of God's palace, uh, because he was a, an angel as well of light. However, his function was thinking, was using the faculty of the thinking mind to make certain plannings. But as he was leaving this palace, God's palace, the place of now, he had to work out the past and the future. And he thought that was such an incredible function. It was so incredibly amazing that he could do something like that, work with material that doesn't actually exist, with memory, with the past, and thinking about things that are not here, that he became obsessed with that. Lucifer became obsessed and thought he was so great that he actually got in, uh, obsessed with himself and his capacities to think about the past and the future. And finally, he was staying more and more outside of the palace until he was unable to return, completely obsessed with his own thinking. Now, Lucifer's place, I call the ghetto. You see, the ghetto of past and future, the thinking mind always going over memories and believing in that structure. It's not about just the structure, but the believing that that is more real than now. God's palace. Lucifer doing that was out there and guess who lives with Lucifer in the ghetto? He also has tenants. So if you live outside in the past and in the future in your thinking mind, in the memory, then you are going to be living with Lucifer's companions, Lucifer's house tenants. And those are worry, anxiety, fear, depression, anger, and fear, and frustration. All the things that are in the garden or in the, the ghetto of Lucifer. So where are you? Where do you live? You see, if you live in God's palace here now, if you're present, if you don't wander off constantly in the thinking function, thinking that that's you, then you're actually in God's palace. Now, a lot of people go into God's palace and for a little while, they get to know a little bit of peace, a little bit of joy, a little bit of rest, a little bit of stillness. That is because even visiting now, consciously, for a couple of seconds, brings rest, brings peace, brings quietude. Because in God's palace it is beautiful, it's silent, it's joyous, it's graceful, it's filled with well-being and sensation. All the good is in the palace. However, most people don't stay there for long, and so the tenants, the tenants of God's palace, the angels, the real angels, like joy and grace, can't really get to know you because the moment you step in, most people step straight back out and start thinking again about the past or the future. And so grace can't introduce herself really. You want to get to know the tenants of God's palace? Then stay present 
in God's palace. Really be there in God's palace. So that all of the tenants will get the chance to introduce themselves. See, lots of people have mystical experience of a realization. For some reason, they might be sitting somewhere doing something or listening to some audio and they have this burst of complete joy because somehow they, they rest in the palace without the thinking and suddenly they're overwhelmed because one of the tenants, like joy or well-being or bliss, looks them straight in the eye and introduces themselves and most people are overwhelmed by it and they say, I want more of this. But then again, the mind grabs onto it, the past and the future ones go on and Lucifer starts dragging you back into the ghetto and saying, look, think about it. Think, think about the two years ago when you had the realization when God's palace is not two years ago. God's palace is here and now. Be here and now. Rest in the silence and stillness of now. And the longer you do, the more you will get to know your tenants the angels of God's palace. Because finally, the angels are not separate from you. God's palace is not separate from you. Because I and the Father am one. The palace, you and your whole life become one. Joy, bliss, all of them are not really separate angels. But they're all inside of you. Here and now. So don't leave the here and now. Stay here. Only use thinking about the past or the future for practical reasons and for the remaining of your day, stay here, which is now. There is no real day, there's only now. Be here and now in God's palace. The option, the other option, the alternative, which 99% of the people on earth have and do and live, is to stay with Lucifer, outside in the ghetto, in the shabby, moldy, silly, sick, diseased, impoverished, impoverished area of Satan or Lucifer's ghetto.